All right, we're ready for one more mission. We're going for mission 14, the lingua franca, which is quite possibly the most overused phrase in this entire game. <clears throat> so, the deal here is we're supposed to rescue the Viscount. They want you to go in here so that you can peruse around Kaziba camp, collect intel, do all a bunch of this other crap. Well, doesn't matter because we know where this guy is. So we're pick that top landing zone there. Go ahead and come in at the night time. Make it easy on us. So I'm going to mark on the map where uh, this Viscount guy is. It's the only thing you have to do is find the Viscount and uh, extract him. Um, the rest, the mission wants you to follow around this interpreter guy and listen to what he says and then follow him and let him interrogate all these people and then hide and listen and blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, you don't want to do all that because you want to just get the S rank, so... We're just going to go from the start, we're just going to straight to where he is, extract him, jump on the chopper, and that'll do that. One of these prisoners is the rescue target, a guy known as the Viscount. The target's location is unknown, but they're bound to have an interpreter present when they interrogate him. We've used info from the intel unit to predict the interpreter's location. I do kind of like the little credit thing. Follow the interpreter and extract the target. I don't think it's necessary, but sometimes it's kind of cool. It tells you like what kind of enemies you're going to have to fight. Alright, the marshlands. Welcome to Zaire. Okay, here we are, on the ground. So the place that you want to go is pretty much right over here. So you can see where that road kind of bumps down. Just go straight towards that. So, 700 meters. Just cruise your way over. Careful, there will probably be enemies between them and us. This, this mission is uh, very much just a straight shot here. Enemies over there. Enemies in there. So that's the uh, the first guy that's gets interrogated. You're gonna just say screw all that noise. All in over here. There he is. Yeah, so I was a little bit off there, but. Where is this guy facing? Is that him? Take a good look at their faces so we can ID the targets. The CFA are all business. Hard to believe they're interrogating their own. The situation must be worse than we thought. Make a wrong move, and they could kill the target without warning. It looks like the target. Let's go ahead and just carry him out of here. Guard will be none the wiser. So, let's see if I can do it here. Okay, I'm gonna just take him over here, well out of range, so I can hold him. Call in that chopper. Roger. I guess I could have just put him on the chopper, but whatever. Get yourself out of the hot zone. By chopper or by land. Look That's at that. Choice. Easy, easy money. Don't need that marker anymore. Wait for that chopper to come. Hopefully he doesn't uh, see the chopper here. Oops. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. There we go. This is B-Quad. Yeah, so he's taking... Pot shots, no big deal. 
Just hop on in there. What's he gonna do? Gaining altitude. Seems to be you, nerd. <laughs> oh, he was an S rank guy. Eh, whatever. Departing. And that is just that easy. It's quite possibly one of the longest, best scripted Amazing. missions. Mission complete. And right there is why you can the best, boss. The crush it only. that easily. Oh, hey, yeah, I got no traces. If you weren't aware, there's a special bonus that you can get if you don't, if you're not seen by anybody, you never shoot your weapon. There, there's a whole laundry list of things that you can't do. So this mission is prime for being able to get that no traces thing. So as you can see, I got well over double the requirement for S rank. So this one is nice, quick, and easy.